to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Okay, so today's video is as I promised how to date for men. Yes, I know I took a long time to do this one because I wanted to make sure that I did it properly. I mean, it's nothing too outrageous, but just the initial first few tips that I think all guys could deal with, especially if you're now beginning to date or if you haven't dated for a while or if you done with your player play phase and you're ready for a real woman, honey. This is how you do it. This is how you get one. This is how you keep her. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing, by the way, I want to note that this is in no particular order. I just kind of jotted it down as I went along and as I spoke to different guys and gotten their feedback and what's not. So just enjoy. The first thing I want to mention is hygiene. This is not for ladies only, but also for men. They made sure to stress, guys, the importance of having perfect, well, not even, if you could get perfect hygiene, well, yes, honey, we live for it but for good hygiene for keeping it up okay having good hygiene and being properly groomed helps you out more than you think it is a confidence booster having true confidence helps you out way more than trying to impress someone okay so having a good hygiene or regimen will help you with your confidence and works out better than trying to impress someone they said you should never try to impress a woman but your confidence will speak for itself not cockiness confidence okay so i have a list of stuff that they sh that they said to make sure that your confidence is up okay here's a tip then this is my tip this is not their tip i'm taking i'm taking the credit for this one baking soda for 24 hours fresh bed and if you sweat often okay so after you've taken a shower and if you sweat often like myself <laughs> this should have been included in the girls video when you after you finish showering and you took a take a tip you take a little bit of baking soda in your hands or in your washcloth you take it sprinkle some on top and you scrub your armpits with it scrub your armpits scrub wherever you sweat often and you will scrub it there like you like you're doing a little scrub for about a minute gently or if your body need it a little bit more than gently and you leave it there and then you rinse it off after you've done your shower routine all ready that will help you to keep the sweating down and if you can't if it doesn't keep the sweating down if you sweat more than it can help it will definitely keep the scent down so if you sweat often and you struggle with you know your hormones and if it's too much for you and you can't handle it the baking soda trick will definitely definitely help especially if you're going on a date and you're nervous which you're gonna be sweating it would really help so that's number one you all you want to make sure you have gum your manicure and pedicure is done your skin is moisturized and and also your cologne oh honey your cologne you want to pick something that you know is a chick magnet like for me i personally love ysl or 212 mm. or also um jimmy Choo has a fragrance that i really like too and burberry the burberry for men the new one that came out in 2019 like the end of the year i can't remember the names of those but anything that you know that is like a really good scent and it's liked by mostly by most women then yeah, go ahead. You don't want to take something or spray something that's an acquired taste. You want to make sure that majority of women like it, okay? Also, facial. If you can't get a facial done, do your facial. If not, take the same baking soda. You know, after you wash your face with your face wash, most guys don't use face wash, they just use the same thing that they use and scrub them to the body. But anyways, if you don't have a, if you can't get a facial done, you just take some baking soda, scrub it on your face, do a light scrub, kind of like an exfoliation thing. Wash it off, moisturize, put on lip balm. Woo! Lip balm, lip balm, lip balm. Please men remember to lip balm it down. We don't need them dry ass, crusty ass lips all up in our faces. No, no, no. Lip balm. Okay? And also, what really adds to your outfit, guys, is wearing a watch. I don't know what guy don't know how to dress in 2020, but don't don't do too much. You you want to dress to the occasion, okay? Do enough to look stylish or put together, but you don't want to do too much, okay? Remember to wear a watch. A watch adds to your outfit way more than you think. People actually, the richer folks do this. You know, us rough people probably don't know, but the richer people do it. They 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 watch how well or how put together or your wealth is shown through the type of watch that you wear how expensive your watch is now i'm not saying that you need to wear the most expensive watch but having a nice watch on your wrist that is fitted to your wrist you know definitely definitely helps 
okay? Oh, also, easy on the cologne. You don't want to do too much. We don't want to drown. We just want to smell you. We just want to, you should be a nice, like a nice little passing breeze. We don't need to be <coughs> when we go too close to you. Nah, uh, uh okay? You want to be like, mm, what are you wearing? That's the reaction that you want to get, okay, sir? Okay. Setting up the date. Pick something simple and cool to do that most people like. Coffee, dinner and a movie, drinks. Okay. Now, a lot of people won't say drinks, but from where I'm from in the Caribbean, having a drink or two is normal. Now, it's the place that you take me. Do not bring me to the, the bar on the corner, okay? Me's not a bar on the corner type of girl. You need to bring me to somewhere nice, okay? Set the standard. Wherever you bring the girl shows your standard. Cause she's looking at it. If that's the that's where he would hang out. You could get one or two reactions like, mm, it's a little bit sketchy. Maybe he's a kind of a sketchy dude. Is like, oh, I like this place. Oh, he likes nice things. You know, we're judging you by everything that you do. But don't don't take that too much. It's just like we use it as a way to see the type of person that you are. You know, if you bring me on the corner to the bar on the corner, you're a bar on the corner kind type of guy. Now, if you bring me somewhere nice, where they have a menu, cause the bar on the corner don't have a menu. Mm -hmm. They have a drinks menu. She could get her favorite drink there. She could probably tell the bartender to whip her something else, up, something up nice other than vodka and a chaser. Then yeah, something nice. Bring her somewhere nice and cool. You don't want to do too much for the first few dates, guys. The next thing after, if after planning the first few dates, step back on planning. See if she'll take control or show initiative. I say this to guys because I recently, since I've started doing these videos, I know I don't have as much viewership as I would like, but we get in there, honey, by the grace of God. A few guys been messaging me three about girls only using them for food or for experiences now honey if after planning the first few dates you're not gonna know on the first date or if she is just using you for food or using you for experiences i mean you might know because if you allow people to talk they'll talk themselves into bullshit after the first few days if she don't show no type of initiative to try to spend time with you or try to plan anything for y'all to do it could be just like hey do you want to go to the beach sunday she wants to see you she she's showing initiative she's interested if that doesn't happen and you find yourself to be the only one that's planning stuff then honey something's wrong because you have girls who never plan stuff like myself but i would ask you i'm not saying that you shouldn't plan ladies you should probably just ask like a one hey do you want to go to the beach but usually the guys that i date or are they're planners and i like planners but I've at least asked, hey, dude, what are you doing weekend? You know, if you don't get something like that, probably you should cut her out. She's probably only using you for the food and for the experience. But if that's your type, then go forth, honey. Go forth and enjoy. Conversation. You want the conversation to be light and friendly. It should be getting to know each other questions. I told my ladies this. Do not interrogate, but think of it like an interview. Ask the right questions. Once you let somebody talk, they'll talk themselves into a storm, honey. You just need to let somebody talk. Shut up, let somebody talk. Now, I'm not saying that you, if, it, if it's dead, you shouldn't, like, initiate a conversation. You can, of course, initiate a conversation. But allow the other person time to talk so you can hear, you know? Listen, think of it like an interview too, guys. It's not just the women out here. You're making sure that she meets your standards as well. Okay, the next thing, show interest but do not come across eager to get in their pants. Avoid avoid taking all sexual advances unless she initiates. Kitching, touching, blah, blah, blah. Here's a tip for you guys. The less you show interest in the sexual thing, the sexual part of the relationship, is the more she would want it, okay? I think initially, once you reach the stage where you think it's okay to be a little bit touchy-touchy, let the woman do the touching initially. Let she initiate the touching. You don't want to put yourself in a space where you're coming off as a creep or as a raper man. You understand what I'm saying? So take your time. If you want to touch, a good place to touch or good touches that you can do that's not too much is if you're having a conversation and you have a part like a joke or something. Not really a joke, but like a part of the conversation that you could whisper in her ear. Then you just pull her close by the small of her neck. You know, you gotta take your time because you don't want to mess up her hair or mess with her hoops like myself. So you can just take your time, move it by a neck like this, and then you whisper something like, you look very beautiful tonight. I don't know, probably I should just like demonstrate it on somebody, but you get the point. You want to take your time with the touches. Neck, you can touch neck. No, if you want to talk, you'll say something. Now, if you hold in the door for her to pass through, like you should, chivalry, you would open the door and as she's passing, taking your time and passing, you would just gently guide her by the small of her back. I want to like by the small of her back small of her back would be like right here 
so as she's passing you want to just gently just like place your hand here and just guide guide her through guide her through now look at where i place my hand guys it's not too far up where it's like friend zone and it's not too far down where it's like ooh, I want to get in your pants it's like right here where it's like oh that's nice you know you want to get the that's nice thing going on okay or oh that's nice you don't want to get the too low or too high because you want to do it enough where you're not in the friend zone and you're not in the creep zone you're in the i'm interested zone and you should be in the comfort zone too but she's comfortable with you touching her you don't want to be creepy also if you want to flirt the good ways to flirt especially on the first few days is whispering on her ear yes guiding her by the small of her back and eye contact you guys don't know how powerful eye contact is it is immensely powerful but you do not want to be you want to take your time and just like look at her like observe admire her you know it's just like mm. because trust me all ladies want to be admired we want to feel like we're the best thing in the room and if you can make that happen you win hand holding hand holding is good but make sure that your hands are moisturized please don't hold me with a crusty tufty man hand and never get to please if you can get a manicure done get your manicure done what attracts us to you is if you have your shit together and i i I think all ladies can agree with me with that one. It's not what you wear or your biggest car or the best car or the best job be making seven figures. I mean, if you're making seven figures and you, you doing all of that, then yes. But if you are somebody who's inspired and you are willing to work for all of your stuff and you have your stuff put together and you have a plan and you have a vision of where you want your life to go, that is amazingly attractive to a woman. You know, if we should have the equivalent of a hooters for women, it would be men in suits, business suits, looking like they got their shit together. If you don't have the cute thing playing, you could have the put together, smelling good, nice watch thing going. If you want to kiss her after the first date, don't go for the lips. Go for the cheek, hands, or forehead. Now, the cheek is a little bit of a touchy thing because I'm not, I'm not a fan of you, nobody kissing on kissing me on my cheek i think that's a little bit too intimate for me but in general the cheek is a good area but where i think i really love that is definitely a nice little turn on is at the end of the day you know you drop her off and y'all out the vehicle you need to come out the vehicle if you want to hug her don't hug her inside the vehicle get out your car hug her by your gate or by your door and then tell her good night you know right when you tell her good night and you do that hug you could just like don't let her go instantly you just want to like run your hands down her hand take her hand like this and just gently kiss it Good night, beautiful, or some shit. I don't know. You already have the tactics in one of the game done run. If you got her to go on the first date, she's interested in some way or another. You don't need to mess it up by trying to impress her. This goes back to the first tip. If you have your confidence on lock or on point or on your sleeve, you don't need to do the impressing thing. We can we know when you're trying to impress her and impress us. Slow down, Jody. And it's actually a big turn off. Okay? So just be confident, be you. Be interested in her, show interest, and just be yourself. Ways that you can impress her. You can impress her with your kindness, your interest in her, your chivalry, how you carry yourself. A woman's weakness is a man who has his shit together or working on getting his shit together. Here we go. I just said it. <laughs> oh, so make sure it's for you. Make sure you pay. Oh, honey, I cannot exaggerate this enough. Oh, uh, if you go on a date with me and don't pay especially in the first one we are not going on a second date you is getting blocked and ain't no coming back from that block list nigga because you done messed up but pay gentlemen if you ask for her time she's giving you her time the least you can do is pay for her meal and for her experience i don't care what nobody had to say about feminism fem fem feminist feminist them. I understand feminism, but guess what? Pay for the date. It is only right. We, we Yes, we're feminists over here, but we're not like extreme feminists that miss the point of feminism. Extreme feminists miss the point of feminism. Men and women are not equal. I don't care what nobody got to say. We play very different roles in this life. Yes, we're equal in some aspects. Like we are equal as human beings. We're equal. But a man can't do what a woman can do. 
And if women can't do everything that a man can do, give credit where credit is due. We're not the same, but we are equal beings, okay? You should also make sure that you pick her up and get her home. If you're asking for this girl's time, I mean, if she wants to meet you at the place, then cool, because she probably don't want you to know where she lives in the first date. But you should at least offer to pick her up and get her back home. Don't always choose nighttime activities. Make sure that you also bring her out in the day. She's not a nighttime chick. Her face can be seen at daytime too. I mean, if she's a nighttime chick to you, to you then okay. But nighttime activities, Activities only sends a message and do you want to send that message if not then daytime activities too okay oh I almost forget my most important tip this one guy told me that gentlemen if you are too nervous on the first date or if you like the girl too much and you think you'll be too nervous rub one out before the date uh, me couldn't believe that when they may hear it if y'all don't know what rub one out mean me can't help you no, but when you're too interested and you haven't rubbed one out in a minute, you'll be too eager. So he said rubbing one out will calm you down, calm your nerves and ground you. So gentlemen, if that's how you ground yourself, do it. If it's not, then don't do it. But that is my final tip. And that was the one who really shocked, that really shocked me because I'm like, I mean, that could work. Ladies, if you're too nervous, maybe we need to rub one out too. I'm just saying. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any comments that you want to leave, make sure to leave those down in the comment box below. Bye! Whatever you do, sis, keep it cute, sis!